no, we are here, asking man. us we are to wait. Us to we will wait. But we are if, you are, if you are arresting us, if you are arresting us, we will wait outside. But if this is some parliament, we are waiting. We are waiting. If they ask us to excuse them, we will wait outside. But if you want to arrest us, tell us you are arresting us. No, we are not arresting you. So we don't need you. We are going out. So we don't need you. We are going out. So if it's not a, if it's not arrest, then we, we, we are going to wait <laughs> outside. If you are arresting us, us let it be clear that you are arresting us in spite of what we have pointed out about our statues and the statues of Wai. Yes, we are excusing you. We are waiting us. that the council of Weyeg gives you exemption from the Procurement Act of 2027. That's some of the documents you submitted to us, stated, can stated we, part. Can we refer to it, please? You want to refer to the documents you submitted that stated that? Yes. You provided that document, you look for it. Then, how come, I mean, in terms of uh, uh, payment of uh, uh, staff strength, how come in 2021 you had a staff strength of 2072 and you expended about 11 billion 778 million 321 naira? In 2022, your staff, staff strength reduced to 2009, and your staff salary increased to 12 billion 526 million 486 naira. Then, if I go into documents that were submitted to us. Before now, you relied on the case of Elizabeth Oye Dunta versus Wyeth as a case whose substance was as a case, and you failed to understand that that case was an employer-employee relationship bordering on payment of entitlement for undue termination of employment. You know that that matter was handled by the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. And you know that that I court lacks the jurisdiction mm -hmm. to have made such a pronouncement that WAEC is not an agency or parastatal. If WAEC is not an agency or parastatal, then what is WAEC? The government to itself. From the parties to the case, that the general was not a party to that suit. And therefore, the pronouncement does not bind on government, of course, the National Assembly as an institution, which can be sued and be sued, was not a party. It will also appear that such a pronouncement may have been made in the current since National Industrial Court does not have that jurisdiction as per section 254C, subsection 1A to N of the 1999 Constitution, to determine whether a body is or not an agency or parastatal or government. Of course, you know that section 88, subsection 1 of the Constitution, the National Assembly has the powers under section 88, subsection, uh, section 1, subsection 1, 2, and section 88, section 2B of the Constitution. The National Assembly enacted the WAEC Act. I don't know whether there's any other lawmaking body that enacted the WAEC Act. Its power so as to investigate is only subject to the Constitution and not any other body. Are you aware of that? 
Let me rest my case. Thank you. Um, the statutes are there, sir. And um, the case was dragged to court, and Waek realized that that was actually the case. And so there was no need to continue to drag a case that you know is clear. So that was what happened at that time, sir. The case that is clear is that Waek is an international body. And so the rules of an agency, of a ministry, should not apply there. That was the realization which made the case to rest at that stage. And it is made to conform with the international body. You cannot come and operate international body without the convention being adopted in this country, being domesticated, you cannot operate. So you are getting your funds from the federal government, and of course, you have to answer questions about the funds that you are getting from the international government. Uh, I've seen the communication where you have been exempted. Of course, there were some reasons before your exemption in 2015 and 2017, when Osiba Joe directed that you be exempted. Before your exemption, that is not how you operate. And the case you are mentioning was just based on the issue of a staff that was set when the director reached eight years after retire, after um, is it resign or retire? Retire. That is that is the fourth term of that case. And, and so for your emphasis about uh, it's not a parasitical, it's not an agency of government, doesn't hold water. Go back to your law and see. Nigeria do appropriate funds for you. So, on the issue of the funds that you are being appropriate for, that's why you are here and that's why we are making inquiries and making uh, uh, some findings on that. So, I just want us to make clear, not uh, let it not appear as if uh, you are just uh, on the limbo and you cannot answer. We need to In respect of that, let me, let me, let me ask some, uh, some questions. Please, uh, you, uh, in, your, in, your, in your briefing, um, you mentioned Megaphone, and you say why it was part of that company, Megaphone, right? It's a shareholder. It's a shareholder. shareholder. Yes, like others. And the winding of that company, did it happen in Nigeria or outside Nigeria? The company is based in Nigeria, and so the winding of two... The company is based in Nigeria. Yes. And you invested in a company that is based in Nigeria. As a shareholder. As a shareholder, you took work money to invest in this company that you know has no basis, that you know will not stand. Is there no connivance that this company just wound up and you lose money? And um, you think that that is okay? Uh, honorable member, permit me to give this a little preamble. Actually, country, it sold out and the member countries of Waeg decided that since there is a property and a press there, it will be acquired for the printing of examination materials. So they acquired it. But with time, the other uh, comp uh, member, member countries, and I want to point out, sir, that it was not only Waeg member countries that own shares. There were other individuals that were also shareholders. Sorry, so I, I'm not concerned about other countries. I'm in Nigeria here. I'm not okay. Concerned. We are talking about our own here. Yes, sir. Not, not so they, it got to the point that the shareholders of Megavons West Africa decided that they are no more interested in that um, entity, and they decided to liquidate it. That is what I know, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Due to the fact that WIAC is neither an agency of government or a standard of government, is it an act of natural assembly in the WIAC, Nigeria? Uh, sir.
um, the National Assembly has given its backing on the WAEG, including how public funds It is not every I can do some act of the national assembly. It's not every act established. Chairman, uh, head of WAEC. Is WAEC Nigeria an act of national assembly? Yes or no? Uh, Mr. Chairman, the uh, yes assembly. WAEC is also an act. There is a convention. So it was, uh, there is an oh, act sorry, from Nigeria. Please, please. Why? Please. Yes, you see, you, you, are, you are playing a significant role in this country. The people you see here is a product of one. Now, neither a pastor or a country. He asked, is Wayek an act of Wayek Nigeria? Is it an act of National Assembly? You say yes. If you say yes, is it yes? Uh, you see, Chairman, sir. I, so is it yes or no, please? I am sorry. I just want to give a little. You no, see, please, uh, yes or no? Yes or no? Personalize it, please. Nigeria has accepted the position of WAEC as an international body. You see, sir. Hello, can you offer us? Please, let me, let me come in. Please. No question. You can't even answer. You, 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 yes or no? You can't. Yes if you don't know, answer. You don't know. You don't know. Either yes or no, or I don't know. You keep on saying you want to explain. What are you explaining to us? Sir, someone is asking you question. You don't know the. Please, Mr. Speaker, asking you question and you are there. Well, I think it's very important. Yes, but so even if they are stopping you, you must continue to finish what you do. Why? Nigeria, headed by that, uh, Mr. Amos, is why like I can an act of parliament. Two, your convention, section 14, clearly stipulates that why Nigeria must comply with the legislative process of that country. Three, did why did WAEC Nigeria, did you submit your budget to the Ministry of Education? Who in turn submit that very budget or for that budget to the Ministry of Budget and bring to Parliament? Mr. Your cap no, that is the term. No, I'm coming, sir. Sorry, sir. Just I'm coming. Your, 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 your
your capital, your recurrent, your capital, your current, and your overhead, which is captured in our annual budget. Can you permit me to stay the way I'm comfortable? Okay, you can answer the question if you Please, you can answer the question, all the three questions, yes or no. If you want me to go and ask the fourth question, we will ask you the fourth question. No, no, no. No, it's simple. Don't worry. Yes or no. We are not fighting. No, no. They are not answering. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. We are members of this committee, please. Like, we, it's about Nigeria. This is about Nigeria. This is a body that all of us are free. And for their kids to go to school. And uh, they are accountable for that. So we are here for interaction. We are brothers and partners in progress for this country. So we are asking you this simple question. The three questions we ask you are yes or no. Now, let me proceed again. No, wait, they will ask for answers. Sorry, sir. Sorry, don't worry. This one, I will wait. Now, the fourth one, in 2022, Wayek, Wayek took a facility, Wayek took a loan of 5 billion naira to buy a customized calculator. 5 billion naira to buy a customized calculator. Loan, in 2022, did that loan Follow due process. First, one, we have not seen letter from DMO, debt management office, authorizing the loan. We have not seen the request you made to the, the Honorable the, the Ministry of uh, Education that in turn forwarded that communication to the National Assembly. Where the house, the, the votes and proceedings, the house voted, approved the loan, then the clerk of the House of Representatives communicates said, the vote and proceeding to the clerk of the National Assembly or the committee chairman. And then the 2022. The, then the clerk of the National Assembly who in turn for that, that approval, that vote and, proceed, uh, vote and proceeding of the National Assembly to the Honorable Minister of Education and copy your agency, Wayek. In 2022, 5 billion naira. This is the fourth question. Okay. We have not seen any document to show, if I were requested for all this, that that loan was legally obtained. By uh, the chairman, sir, distinguished members, I want the due process that is existing, sir.
from all indication, they, 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 don't, they don't really know what they are doing. So please, sir, with all honesty, and again, do not forget that you are on oath. You are on oath in the, in the, in the highest body of legislative uh, 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 duties of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So anything you say is, will be held on you. So please, with all due respect, sir, answer the question that has been given to you. The first question, the initial question, before you go into the second. Thank you. Is that An act of national assembly. Because you said, why well, at Nigeria? Is it an act of parliament, this national assembly? First. Then the second. Yes or no? Then the second, the Waya Convention, clearly stipulate your own convention that you must respect the legislative process of every state country you operate. Is it true? Is it yes or no? Did your conventions stipulate that? Act of National Assembly. No, sir. No, I, that's the question. No, sir. Answer your question. I will. Just yes or no. I, I, I'm, I'm just saying the sorry, question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes or no. Register. Please, sir. Okay. You see, is there anything you are hiding? Is there anything that we don't, we need to understand? Single, simple, yes or no? I was just taking the question and then the answer. The question was... Can I take question and answer? Yes. The question has been given to you. Yes, that's what I'm... Yes or no? Mind you, you are in national television. I hope you know that. The, 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 I hope you know that, that you are in national television. This thing you are saying, you are in national television. Mind you. Sir, what I'm trying to. Yes. Yes, but. Sir, don't worry. But, but the act of convention, it, the answer is yes, but taken from the convention. Sorry, don't forget what. Yes, once you say yes, you're okay. You go from Ask another one. Yes. That is what. You need to answer. Make this thing easier for you. Easy for two of us. Okay? Okay, sir. Uh. Or parastatal of government. That is what you said. Now, it is on this ground, it's on this note that I ask Is why Nigeria an act of parliament? Two, your convention, which is which is which is the Bible and the Quran for which you at Wayek is existing. Section 14 said you must respect the legislative process of every country you operate. Yes or no? They proceed, they, 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 no, they sir, just a minute, sir. Okay, it's okay, let's go to the second one. You say yes. I, I, I need to, I need to. explain to us. Sir, sir, you are, you are in charge of a body that teaches us. Exactly. And you are doing like this. This is wrong now. I say, teacher, you ask a question, and you are saying another thing. Simple, yes. So if it's yes, then we continue. But when you say yes and or whatever, that means it's okay. Yeah. And, and we are coming up to questions that need detail. Yes. That's what I want to say. Be, be, Mr. We will Chairman. Give detailed, detailed answers to yeah, Mr. Mr. Chairman, or your colleagues. The Chairman, sir. Permit me, the head of national office has asked me to take uh, question two. And uh, question three. A point of 
order, Mr. Chairman. Yes or no? Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Um, point, point of order, sustained. Um, for the for for the accountant, I think uh, did, um, direct, I don't think that is appropriate. Uh, so please, I think the questions were asked to the registrar, so the registrar should. Answer as you head. That's why he says they want you to. Head, the head of okay, the head of White Nigeria, good. So I, I, I think it's more appropriate for the head of White Nigeria to answer the question that has been bestowed upon him. Thank you. That was why I. I okay. Chairman, can you please um, ask the second question again? Yes, yes, we always follow the, the laws. Which is the law that? Yes, we are ready for the question, sir. So, well, okay, the second question. The second, we said. We said that in view of your position that WAEC is not an agency or parastatal of government, that is the position you submitted to this honorable committee. Now, in view of that, the second question that we ask is that your convention, section 14, stipulates that WAEC must respect the legislative process, legislative process of every country they operate. Yes or no? Yes, we have followed it duly. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. We and have followed the duly. One, you, the third one, you take your budget. Because you said you are not agency of government. Or a starter, you take your budget, your annual budget, to the Ministry of Education. That ministry, the minister for that very budget, to the budget office, who in turn bring it to parliament. And parliament appropriate that form to you, which you spend capital. Overhead and recurrent, yes or no? Uh, with due respect, permit me to let the uh, allow the director of uh, finance to answer this. No, sir. It's about budget, sir. Yes or no? When we come for explanation, we can do all those things. We want to be able to get the second question. Second question. No, no. The answer is no. The answer is no, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Chairman of Romania State. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk, Mr. Chair. My brother, the Registrar Wayek Nigeria, I want you to relax. We are here for you. If we are not elected, we can sit here. But when you act as if we are fighting, it's not the best for of us. The essence of representation is that when we have issues, we interact and see a way that we can be able to resolve and move this country forward. Because working together is the only way we can move Nigeria forward. Mr. Chairman, I have a few questions I want to ask. Being that she has admitted, he has admitted that um, Wayek Nigeria is a uh, act of national Because based on the response they gave us three or four weeks ago, register, sir, in your response, uh, eh? 
head of OYEC, Nigeria. Sir, you said that your counsel, based on what you stated, that they, they don't need to bring their IGR to National Assembly for approval before spending on it. Sir, I have a document here which is appropriation of 2024. Page 1298. I don't know that somebody is doing the document. That is the grant for which we have come here to defend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we'll tell you too. Why? Page 1294. We have it here. You have it there? Yes. Look at the uh, code 051. 2024. 2024. Appropriation Act. Look at the code 051 700 6001. Can you see it? Yes, sir. Is it not part of uh, Nigeria uh, 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 Appropriation Act? But that's not IGR. It's not your question. Your question is um, we said we don't take our IGR for appropriation. And this is not IGR. No, it's not only what I'm coming for, sir. I'm, I'm, we are waiting for you. No. I got it right. No. I got it right. No, sir. Okay, okay, okay. go on, sir. Go on, sir. Yes, sir. No, this is your response. No, no, no. This is your response. Sir, okay, let me ask you this question. We requested, based on the response you gave us. Yes, sir. We requested for internally generated revenue of WAYEC Examination Council Nigeria from 2018 to 2023. However, the internally generated revenue for the year 2018, 2019, and was yet to be provided to the, by the council to us. The committee also requested evidence that the council's idea for the reference period was duly appropriated by National Assembly. That was, I am asking you, this question was based on the response of what you gave to us. I am coming, sir. The reason why we are trying to solve all this issue is that if we appropriate money for you, whether capital, whether any tax, whether recurrent or whatever you call it, it shows that you are part of us. Being that you are part of us, Nigeria, this house has the mandate to know what you are doing. We have the mandate to know what you are doing. Even in the question of where we ask you the the the, the just the word, IGR. even on the nominal rule. Don't go far, don't make long grammar. What is the act of federal character? So what we want to establish is that you are part of Nigeria. And the moment you understand it, better for all of us, so that we will now be able to work together. For when you are always believe that you are just part of us somehow is not the best for us. You because we are doing a wonderful work. Thank you, sir. We are doing a wonderful work. Thank you, sir. Giving our children the hope. Some of us today, we are here today as a result of you. And there is no way we can undermine you. But we, we want to improve you, improve on what you are doing. We want to let you know that you have trained us. And we, you should be proud that we are asking you all this question. So please, be, relax and let's work together. It's the only way we can move this country forward. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I represent Nigerians through the wonderful, hardworking people of the Demili North and South Federal constituency. I am from Anambra State. Um, the head of WAEC Nigeria, as an addendum, or rather leading from what my colleague had mentioned earlier on, you know, 
in this life, we don't need to complicate things and complicate ourselves. Based on your submission, and you had mentioned that Waek Nigeria, in essence, is not part of the federal government of Nigeria. That it's, a, it's, a, it's an institute that stands on its own, that can do whatever it likes that it is not appropriated under the Appropriation Act that is presented to this noble, the People's House. But in the 2024 Appropriation Act, under the Ministry of Education, you have items that have been appropriated to WAYEK and bracket local, and local means Nigeria, okay? Are you then saying that whatever has been appropriated to you in itself, in essence, should it not have been? One. Two, I believe that you would have consulted with the ministry and submitted and made your submissions because we know the system in which it is being run when it comes to the federal government of Nigeria budget. Are you saying that you did not submit anything? Because if we, if we take a breakdown as simple as possible, here you, put the, you have appropriation of salary and wages to the tune of 3,276,128,245 Naira. That is line... Two one zero one zero one. Okay. Now, how do you come up, or how is it that something to do with wages, which is very important? You see the uh, commotion that is going around. Everyone is talking about wage and all of that. But wages, you have wages appropriated here in the Appropriation Act of 2024. And you say that you are not an agency under the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So these monies that have been appropriated for salaries and wages, are you saying then that it shouldn't be there? Are you saying that the Federal Government of Nigeria has made a mistake or we? The body that passed this appropriation had made a mistake. Look at the WAEG Act itself. It has prescribed how revenue will be collected and how it will be expended. So the Act itself has proffered a solution as to how that will be done. And then in answering, uh, so for, answering for that, answering for that, sir, it is in the same act that the procedure of budgeting and having a committee of WAEG to superintend over how the budget is raised and expended is done. Sir, please be guided. You are debating. I did not ask you a question about the act or the WAEG act or the IGR. We brought a document before you that is appropriated, and this is a copy in which I am showing, and showing my honorable colleagues as well. Okay? Please, stick with the question asked. If you want me to repeat myself, I can repeat the question again for you. Okay? Uh, but, but it's a very simple thing. Okay, so let me actually help you out and repeat myself and repeat the question. Okay, since you are saying that Wayek Nigeria, you, West African Examination Council, as a public, uh, uh, what do you call it, public uh, examination body. So, when you know that we created you, the Act of National Assembly created you, definitely checks and balances, we must oversight you. We must oversight you. Even your idea is not free money. Our children pay these monies. So you must give account when you appear 
to the National Assembly? Simple question. What, how did you do this? You had two million. You generated this. It's something we should know. The public should know. The country should know. Because you can't just sit because you generate three billion. You sit down and eat. No, now. Nah. We're not saying um. you should pay tax. We're not saying you should pay tax on revenue to federal government. And at least the one we have even given you, show us what you are done with it. You did this now? Yeah. We are also aware that you took a loan, but we have not reached there. So face the one we have asked you. Do you believe that we created the act? We established the act to create you as a public examination body. Uh, Mr. been operating within the dictates of the act. And may I uh, uh, bring out this analogy, sir? You see, just like we have other foreign examining bodies that you and I or our children can pay money to. Will it now be termed as if the money that goes there is public funds? Yeah, I know why. I know why. Calm down. Just calm down. If, you, if you agree that the, the act of National Assembly created WAEG Nigeria, eh? WAEG Luka, if you believe why are you now waking up from this thing? Because you claim that you are. You said you are. Yes. Now, you are not answerable. Excuse me. What she is saying, you are not answerable to parliament. That is what you said. You claim. Now, you, you, what she is trying to tell you is that you are our baby. That you are our baby. Get back to you. So you cannot say that you you you, you, you neglect or you will you will reject your father. Even if you reject your father and your mother, the world know that it is that very period that get back to you. I think that is what yeah, that is what we are saying. You understand? Again, it is very clear that we have been feeding you as a baby. That is where we talk about the budget, which you take to the Ministry of Education. And again, we also went for that to say, you, take, you took this, this budget to the Ministry, who in turn forward it to the budget office. From budget office, you still come back to your parents, this very house, still approve that budget for you. We said all these things to you. You said, you said, no, 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 no. Now again, of each one, we have asked you, you cannot reject us. You cannot, uh, you can't reject us. You understand? There is no way you can reject us. We created you. So, again, we have asked you simple question. The 2022, Budget where you 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 generated 20, 20 something billion, then you also went for loan. Let me use a simple language: loan of five billion to buy a customized calculator. Now we ask, did you follow the process? Say yes. We now ask you that. Where is the letter? Because well, we ask you, where is the paper? From the, the DMO office. You have not provided one. That management office. That gives you the consent to go for this below. We also ask, where is the letter? You wrote to the modern ministry, the Ministry of Education. Who now forwarded that loan to the House through the committee? Then the House will now in their in the motion taken, there is a name you call Adjola. One Adjola took a motion. Very good. Where is the resolution that was forwarded to by the House of Rep clerk to either the clerk of the National Assembly or the committee chairman who in turn forwarded it to the ministry and copy you? Because it is the ministry body, is the, 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 the ministry that they will forward that. 
resolution, the vote are proceeding, they will forward it to the ministry. The, the ministry will not, the, they will not convince you that the House have approved the loan. Where are those documents? You are not showing us anything. You only tell us you bought a customized uh, uh, calculator, 5 billion Then again, in 2023, you, you generated a 34 point something billion. And you spend all, oh, you spend 40 billion. About 40, 40 billion. And we have a deficit about 6 billion. Where did you. Well, we did not see anything to show how you. where you, you cut the. The other six billion, which you you spend, because you spend uh, 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 you you spend forty billion, you generate about uh, thirty uh, thirty four. Uh, look at your paper. Look at about thirty four billion, and you spend forty billion. You went and took loan, even though the federal government of Nigeria also. Uh, Allocated from billions of naira to you, whether it's there, it's here. So, then again, you should write down because it's important, it's public form. You said, per examination of administration expenses, 9 billion, 241 million, 684,738 naira. Pre examination expenses. Look at your, you submitted this thing to us. Pre examination administration expenses 9,241,684,789. Direct examination expenses 15,091,127 naira. This is what you forwarded to us. Look at it. We are not. Yes. 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 Direct examination expenses 15 million and 91 million 126 126,987 naira. These are, these are public form. And uh, we are very inquisitive to know how these monies have been expended because we represent the people. So please just answer these questions that we have been asking you for the interest of our country. Because most of you are aware of the hardship, you are aware of the hunger. People work night and day to pay these fees. The parents, most of the parents don't have this money. They work night and day to pay these fees to enable their Kids, not one. Um, may I respond, sir? I must confess, our staying here to buttress on this point, I think, is not yielding anything. It's not yielding anything at all. Number one, let us. Okay. No, I, I also no. Let me let me finish, please. Our being here asking questions is not yielding any meaningful results here, because if you even look at the documents being submitted by them, you see the procurement act is not even followed. If you look at the contract, the various awards they did, the procurement act wasn't even followed. Look at uh, uh, WAEG giving uh, advance payments of over 15% and 30%. That means that they breached the Financial Regulation Act of 2009, the, the Financial uh, uh, Crime Act of 2009, and the Procurement Act of 2009. All these things, they are hiding under that case of employer 
employee judgment of that industrial court. So I think we don't need to take this matter for they just perpetrated complete fraud. Is it they perpetrated complete fraud from this period we are even talking about? I think we don't need to sit here. Let us look into their records and whatever we think we can do within the powers of the constitution, we hold them responsible. Thank you. Thank you. I so move. I'm seconding that. And I have another. Yes. Yes. So, uh, once again, I'm Honorable Abdul Hakim Kamila Ado, representing Garko within the federal constituency in Kano State. Uh, I just want to highlight of another uh, another issue that has been breached, which is regarding the Public Procurement Act, Chairman. Uh, why Nigeria, you know that the financial regulation, the financial regulation states that no contract shall be mobilized more than 15% or 30% in line with Finance Act. And then uh, we, We've received a report from you that you mobilized up to 50% for your contract. So I'm speaking about uh, the construction of Waik branch complex in Taraba State. We also have another in Nasarawa State, but I'm not here. It's in affiliation with this. Uh, just to highlight that they have breached another rule of the Procurement Act. So uh, that's why I second that this motion that has been moved by honorable colleague uh, should be seconded, and I so second, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, my dear learned concerned colleagues, I think what we have before us is a broad day robbery, and um, there's a certain way that robbers should be treated. Mr. Chairman, my dear colleagues, I would like to move a motion that while we, while pending the investigation, yes, while pending the investigation, to look into further into the activities of um, the WAEC Nigeria, that the invited guest before us should be taken into custody and held at the police post while we further investigate and seek for some sort of eh? solution for these issues in which they are bringing upon Nigerians. Mr. Chairman, I so move. Uh, Miss, point of order. No. Point of order, sir. You can't write it! To the police post, while more investigation about the white activities, the subject matter, take them to the There is a portion on the convention of, of, on our statues here. Register. It has gone. Nigeria. That was supposed to be the register. Why Nigeria? But we were not given the, the opportunity. Has, the gather has gone down. Okay. We, the gather has gone down. So please be guided. My colleague tried to raise this point that before the gather. He tried to raise it. Article 16. It's a breach of convention. It's a breach of convention. And Nigeria is a member of convention. And we must respect the international convention. We, we have immunity on us by, 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 by virtue of this you convention. To be for which Nigerians and the parliament the are part of it. That is what we want everybody to that's bear in mind. That's what I want to draw attention. I just, I shut there, there is a convention, there is an act. We have not acted out of that act. Everybody. You are acting against the convention which Nigeria has acceded to. Article 16 and 17 are very clear about it. We have the given this document. The, 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 the Wire Act is very clear. The Convention is very clear. 
and you want to bundle us to go and arrest us? Which offense have you found against us? And you want to investigate? This is mere intimidation. You were talking, you will not allow us to answer questions. You give us a, a yes and no you answer. Are, you are so that we can so say yes. And we are not yes giving. No. That brings about this misrepresentation that why is fully funded. Yes and no will not explain. you how we operate. Yes and no will not explain. It's not explanation by yes or no. Arrest us in breach of the convention. Let the whole of Nigeria know that this is a breach of convention. The white and it's a breach of the white act. act direct us to remit revenue to the government. We, we, were, asked, we were asked questions of yes and no. How do we explain yes and no? When the will not want to get. Arrest us. You don't want Nigeria in uh, in uh, work in Nigeria, then we know. So we don't want uh, Nigeria. That's why you are defrauding Nigerians. Nobody is defrauding. Don't, don't hide under nobody, immunity. Nobody, you nobody is defrauding. To, to make no, allegation that you have not proved. Yeah. You, you are, are making allegations. You are handling public funds, and you feel those public funds. You have not proved it. You said hundred percent funded, it. which we have showed to you that is not hundred percent funded. And you are you are a honourable member of the house. The highest and it has gone. Are saying we embezzled money. The have highest it has gone is eighteen percent fund provided to Waeg. It's eighteen percent. Do you have any proof of what you are saying? Because you are under immunity, you cannot be arrested. Can you say this when you don't have immunity? You accuse me of fraud. Have you have you established it? We are talking with your documents. But you did didn't allow us to say that it's fraud. So you where did you draw your conclusion? You can't answer any question. You we answer. We answer with I'm a, a yes or no. Yes, no. We, 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 with a yes or no. With a yes or no. How can we explain? When we want to explain, it is a yes or no. What about this? Your wrong generalization and conclusion that why is fully funded. That's why you you give us point of order. You do you not even a point of order? You are telling honorable members point Is that order. why you said we should be arrested? It's because you said we should be arrested and detained. And, and, and I have to let you know why you are talking. That you are working against the Open convention. Yourself. Open yourself. I'm not quarreling with them. They have to tell them the right But you, 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 you said an emotion that we should be arrested. Please. As you move myself, I like you. You raise a motion and second the motion. For some, uh, that, offense that, you have not proved. Uh, so can so you, you go, take can you go to the competent court of law to do what you are doing? Um, eh? Can you go to a competent court of law before a judge to do what you are doing? The form appropriated by this house to you. And again, your response was very poor. And uh, members took decision and this committee, the committee have reviewed that position for the interests of this country, and uh, one or two members have something, one or two things to say. You are welcome. Thank you, Honorable Chairman. Uh, management of WAEC, I, uh, I know I came in a little bit late. Uh, my name is Honorable Jafar Rileko, and I represent Nigerians from Bogoro, Das, Tafa Balea. Uh, as you are all aware, uh, the responsibility of parliament is not to enchant anyone. But you know, part of our responsibility is to appropriate monies for public use in different parastatals agencies of government. And it's also our responsibility to oversight the utilization of funds. And your agency is not excluded because appropriation was made. So it's within our jurisdiction to ask questions to interrogate how public funds are used. And it's also within your responsibility to give us explanation, both in writing and verbally. So all of us 
are here representing Nigerians and Nigeria. And you must be accountable for Kobo and Nera that you receive on behalf of Waiek. So as I said earlier, I want you to calm down, understand us. We are not here to win anybody. We are here to do our constitutional duties. You are also doing your own duties. So whatever we are doing is within the act of the National Assembly and Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria that empower us in section 85 and 80, I mean 88 and 89 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. So please, I want you to come understand there are vital documents that this committee requested from you and you are unable to tender this document. Like very, very importantly, statement of account. And at the same time, you cannot work without uh, the, 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 the act of the National Assembly, because it's the National Assembly that appropriate money for you. And it's not only your agency that are uh, getting counterpart funding, apart from what Nigeria is uh, giving. Even the President of Federal Republic of Nigeria comes to the National Assembly, lay budget, work on it, before we make it an act. So you are not something different from any other agency of government that uh, are appearing before the House. But for me, it's very wrong of you to say you are not agency of government. So long as you are benefiting from the government budget, you are part of government. But the Constitution empowers the Parliament to inter investigate even individuals and private organizations, not just agency of government. But you, this very, very Parliament, appropriate money for you. So it's within our jurisdiction to inter uh, interact with you and also ask you on how these uh, monies are expended. So I don't know if there is anything that is not clear to you. You can ask us, we are all Nigerians and we are all working for Nigeria. So if there is anything that you did not understand, we are human beings like you, we are here to represent people, then we can have understanding, then we can go forward. So I think at this point, that is the little contribution I, I want to add. But I want to appeal to you to calm down, understand when you are, what, why you are here, and also understand why we are doing this uh, uh, interaction and interfacing. It's very important. Thank you and good afternoon. And ourselves. Like my colleague mentioned earlier on, we're not here to witch hunt you. We're only here to answer to the good people of Nigeria, of Nigeria on every issue that pertains to their welfare, their well-being, and at this point, their academic and educational status. I want to just first of all correct you on one thing, because earlier on you had mentioned something, and I want to correct you because law or clauses are always subject to interpretation, okay? According to your convention, hmm? because you had mentioned something that you have immunity, okay? And I want to correct you on that. And going according to your convention, in Article 16, okay? Clause number four. Hmm? It says, read, I read, the chairman, members of council, registrar, and members of his staff shall 
severally or collectively be accorded, accorded diplomatic privileges or status in accordance with the rules, regulations, and policies governing the diplomatic immunities within the territories of the member countries and associate member countries. That being said, while you are here in Nigeria and you are here within the House of Representatives, you are subject to our own laws. Do you understand me very clearly? You are actually subject to our own laws. Do you understand me clearly? So you don't misinterpret your own convention. If you go to Syria alone or go to Ghana, whatever occurs there in their own national assembly, you are subject to that country's laws. Do you understand me? I want to clarify you on that first. Because you had mentioned, ah, you have immunity. And as far as we are inviting you here, under this umbrella, under this body, you don't have immunity. Do you understand me clearly? That is one. Now, again, I say that we are not here to which hunt you. We want you to be good law-abiding citizens. And I'm very happy that you like to state your own convention. And we want to also use that same convention in accordance to your position and the position of this committee. One thing I want to ask, first of all, is eh, who is your external auditor? Why? I don't know why I keep going to answer. The current external auditor is K.O. 